Abort point is the point along the passage where the vessel can still safely maneuver back, and abandon its planned track for any reason. This point is typically found when approaching or entering a port, or narrow channel, and should be clearly marked in the passage plan. Here are some reasons why we must abandon our planned track despite good planning. Suppose there is a change in the ship schedule, the pilot is cancelled, a navigational equipment failure, an engine failure, a dangerous situation in the harbor, or any situation where it is unsafe for a ship to proceed. The point of no return, or PONR, is the point along the passage plan and beyond, in which there is no sufficient sea room to turn back the vessel, such as when navigating in constrained water, when the ship enters a narrow river, or even if there is sufficient sea room, but due to the tide when it is at its low level, the ship is unable to maneuver back, and the vessel has no option but to proceed. This checklist may be available on board and outlines key elements that should be marked in the passage plan, whether using a paper chart or an electronic navigational chart. In this video, let's determine the point of no return, and abort point, we will also include the emergency anchorage. But before determining these key elements in the passage plan, let us first mark the no-go areas. Assuming this is our planned track, we will be entering the port and passing through confined waters. In this electronic navigational chart, this is the shallow contour, and this is the safety contour, which separates the safe and unsafe waters. If you are not familiar with the different contours, I have made a separate video about this, kindly check the link in the description. Somewhere in this area of our passage plan, we can find the point of no return, and abort point. Let's enlarge this chart. If we take a look at the charted datum here, within the unsafe water, it comprises of color gray and black. This is because of the set safety depth. Safety depth is the minimum depth of water required for the safe passage of the vessel. In this ENC, the set safety depth is 8.0 meters. So all charted datum that are 8.0 meters and lesser are in black, while those that are greater than 8.0 meters are in gray. If the ship crosses the set safety contour, as long as she stays within the color gray charted datum, the ship is safe. So we can mark our no-go areas for those charted datum in black. Once the no-go areas are marked, the next step is determining the point of no return. PONR should be established first, as it serves as the basis for identifying the abort point. Going back to the definition of point of no return, which is the point along the passage plan, where there is no sufficient sea room to turn the vessel back. Even with the use of other resources, such as going astern, or utilizing the ship's thrusters, the vessel would still be unable to turn back. Every vessel may differ in determining its point of no return and abort point due to its maneuvering characteristics and the existing external forces such as wind and tidal currents in the locality. This video serves only as a guide, as it might not be applicable to your vessel due to maneuvering characteristics, and in compliance with the company policy. Assuming that based on our assessment, if the ship goes beyond this point of the planned track, the ship can no longer turn back even if we use the astern propulsion, and utilize the ship's thrusters if there are. But if based on our assessment, due to maneuvering characteristics of the ship in her present loaded condition, she can turn back utilizing the astern propulsion and thrusters. Then we can move the point of no return forward. Through thorough assessment and by complying with the company policy, let's assume that the point of no return is here. To determine the abort point, we need the ship's tactical diameter and advance. If this is the point of execution, where we execute our helm, then our abort point is here. When we say advance, it describes the distance a ship moves forward in its original direction, from the point where the helm is executed, to the point where the ship has completed a change in heading, 
typically measured when the ship has turned through 90 degrees. Tactical diameter is the distance perpendicular to the original course that a ship travels during a turn of 180 degrees, measured from the point where the helm is executed, to the point where the ship is heading in the opposite direction. Remember that this turn is affected by some factors such as the ship's speed, rudder angle, the ship's hull form, and load condition. Additional factors that this turn may not be achieved are the external forces such as wind and current. Making allowance may be applicable to achieve the turn safely. Once we have marked the point of no return and abort point. If we can find a nearby area where we can drop our anchor in case the ship encounters emergencies, then it will be better. Looking at this area, we can use it as our emergency anchorage. We can drop anchor here even if it is not a designated anchorage area, as long as we are in an emergency situation. But first, we must calculate the swing radius of our ship. If it is not possible for our ship to drop anchor here, then find another nearby area where we can drop the anchor in case of emergency. I have a video on how to calculate the swing radius, kindly check the link in the description. However if based on our assessment, it is not safe to make a turn between these two buoys using only the ship's rudder, due to her maneuvering characteristics, and with the existing external forces such as tidal current. We can adjust the abort point away from the point of no return, where the ship makes her turn clear from buoys. If this is the ship's turning circle, then our abort point will be here. In larger vessels, they mark their abort point one nautical mile before the point of no return, because the turning circle might not be achieved due to load conditions and some external forces. Remember to always follow the company policy if it is stated in the SMS manual. To summarize the definition of these two elements. Abort point is the point along the passage where the ship can maneuver back using only the ship's rudder, while point of no return is the point along the passage, where the ship can no longer maneuver back even if we use other resources, such as a stern propulsion, and thrusters. So the point along the ship's passage between the abort point, and the point of no return, is the point where the vessel can still maneuver back, by using additional resources such as a stern propulsion, thrusters, and even tugs. This video serves only as a guide, always follow the company policy if it is stated in the SMS manual. That's all for now, I hope you find this video helpful, thank you for watching, bye.